Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. So today we are going to be talking about posting groups in Business Central um, and I'll just begin by briefly explaining what a posting group is um, in BC. So um, we basically use posting groups in Business Central to map transactions to the general ledger from the sub ledgers. Um, so just very briefly, a, a posting group um, is set up on the different sub ledgers that we have within Business Central. So, for example, customers, vendors, items, bank accounts all have their own variation of posting groups. Um, we set those up and uh, we basically use a posting group to define um, which uh, general ledger code or codes we should be posting to from that particular sub ledger. Um, so just to illustrate this in a bit of a diagram form, I've prepared a bit of a, a visio here just to explain how it works. Um, so I'm not going to run through each one of these here, um, but I've got a few of the different sub ledgers here. Um, so I've got my um, customers and vendors here. We've got items. Uh, we've got bank accounts, inventory, fixed assets. So there are more, you know, you've got employees, resources, and there's there's a few others that I can think of as well. Um, but I've not popped those into the business function, business central functional areas, um, um, flow, part of the flow chart here. Just um, wanted to put a few in there to illustrate how it works. So if we run through on this diagram first, um, and then we can jump on into business central just to illustrate how that works. Um, so, so what we have um, up at the top here is um, posting groups and what I've tried to do here is just um, put in some of the different posting groups that we have within Business Central. So we will jump into BC um, in a second, but you'll see here I've got in my first um, little section here, I've got general business posting groups. I've got general product posting groups, I've got VAT business, VAT product, customer, vendor, bank account posting groups, and then I've got inventory and uh, fixed asset posting groups. And what I've tried to do here on the right hand side here is just um, try and determine which area of the general ledger or what type of postings rather we're making with each of these different um, flows. So in the in the light blue here, we've got P and L postings uh, from transactions. So our general business and product posting groups define P and L postings. Uh, the green section here um, they define VAT postings. Orange are balance sheet postings, and um, for the fixed asset posting groups, um, they can define both balance sheet and P and L postings. Um, but if we just follow a simple one through here to begin with, um, so I've got in my posting group section uh, within Business Central, I've got customer posting groups, okay? Um, and a customer posting group uh, can be assigned in the sub ledger section, um, which is customers uh, within BC. So what happens then is uh, I, I, I generate a transaction. So I post a, you know, a sales order, sales invoice, sales credit memo for my customer, um, which is this section. So we, we process the transactions and then via the posting groups um, set up BC posts to the general ledger. OK, um, so we will run through this in Business Central in a second, but I just want to illustrate sort of how it works at this level to begin with. So there are some other examples here. Um, you'll notice that we've got an additional layer here for posting group setups, right? Now, what does that mean? Well, it basically means that Business Central needs to look up um, two different entities in order to define where that transaction is posted to in the general ledger. So let's take the VAT postings, for example. So that's the green boxes here. Uh, we have our VAT business posting groups uh, that are assigned to customers and vendors. We've got VAT product posting groups. Um, and I've said here items and GL accounts um, is what they can be um, defined against. Can be defined against more, but I've just used those as examples here. We follow that flow through down to transactions and then we have an additional area here. So when a transaction is posted, BC checks uh, the VAT business posting group on the customer, 
product posting group on the item and GL account, and it references those two entities on the VAT posting setup, which it then uses to determine where that transaction will go in the general ledger. So there's a few others here, guys. I'm not going to talk through each one, but you get the idea. We set up the posting group. Um, we assign the posting group in the subledger. We then perform transactions. And sometimes, depending on the application area, we might need to go through a posting group setup page. But essentially, we are determining which account is hit on the general ledger. So let me jump back into my business central environment and I can show you this in action in BC. Okay, so let's go with customers first. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just show you the customer posting groups page. So I've just used the search to search for customer posting groups here. And um, we're on the customer posting groups page here and you can see it's, uh, it's demonstration data, but I've got three customer posting groups here of domestic, EU and foreign. And here in the receivables account, I can define which account on my general ledger is hit when we use these particular customer posting groups. Um, so if I drill down here into the um, receivables account, I can see my um, accounts receivable account on my general ledger. So this is just a look up to our GL account list. And bear in mind, you might need to tick the view all accounts on look up there if you want to see um, all of your accounts. Now, I won't go into sort of all of the other sort of fields that we've got here, but you'll notice you've got other ones. You've got payment discount debit account, payment discount credit account. We will cover these um, in, in, in other videos when we're setting up different application areas. But for today, let's just stick to the receivables account, okay? Um, so just to recap there, customer posting groups, I have three. I've got domestic, EU and foreign, and I've defined the receivables account as 40400 against all of them. Now, let me go to a customer. And I'll just go to my customer 10,000. And if I scroll down to the invoicing section here, you'll notice I've got my customer posting group field. Okay, so that's defined as domestic. And if I say show details here, it's gonna take me to my domestic customer posting group card, which is basically the same record we were just looking at. It's showing me that we're posting to receivables account for 0400. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just put on a quick sales invoice for our customer. And I just wanna show you that that is the account that's hit when we post the transaction. So I'm just gonna choose a GL code here. I'll pick a unit price and let me just say preview posting. And We've got a few GL entries, but the one that we're focusing on today is this last one here, which is 40400, and we've got the full amount of the invoice going there. Why is it going there? Well, it's because um, the accounts receivable account for customer 10,000 was 40400. Why was it 40400? Well, on the customer card, we had customer posting group domestic defined. Okay, so just one other example here, which I'll show you. Um, it's the VAT business and VAT product posting groups. Um, so we do have another video on this, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna labour this point here. I'll just very quickly show you. Uh, we've got VAT business posting groups of domestic EU and export, and we've got VAT product posting groups. A few of them there. Okay, so we've got a list of VAT product posting groups. So how does BC know which GL account um, that we need to post to? Well, as I said on the Visio earlier, it references a page called the VAT posting setup. And here we combine all of the different VAT business posting groups that we can have in combination with all of the VAT product posting groups that we can have. So for example here, look, we've got um, domestic 
and services reduced. So VAT product posting group services reduced, VAT business posting group domestic. And here we can see that the sales VAT account is 56110, purchase VAT account is 46310 and you also have reverse charge if we use that as well and this is just a look up to your chart of account so I can drop down I can say select from full list and it will take me to our GL accounts list so again let me run that through on a transaction so if I very quickly go back into customer 10,000 let me go new document sales invoice and I will put on another line again so let's go income services quantity one unit price 100 and i just want to show you before proceeding we've got a vat business posting group assigned on the customer which is domestic we've got a vat product posting group which is assigned on the gl account as services reduced so they are inherited from those different sets of data right if I show you the customer card, there will be a VAT business posting group field there. As I said, I'm not going to labor these points here, guys, because I've got another video that runs over this. I won't run through it in detail um, in this one. Um, but we've got VAT business posting group domestic, VAT product posting group services reduced. OK, and let me go into preview posting. And if I check our GL entries, we've got three. And the line that we're interested in here is this one for five GBP. And that is the VAT element of this posting. And you can see that it's selected GL account 56110. Okay. And just to recap, why has it selected GL account 56110? Well, as we know, we have a VAT product posting group of services reduced, a VAT business posting group of domestic. So if I go to the VAT posting setup, I find my line. So the VAT business posting group is domestic, VAT product posting group is services reduced. And we see here that the sales VAT account that we've defined for that combination is 56110. Okay, so that's the customer posting groups and the VAT posting setup, which is defined off the back of the VAT business posting group and the VAT product posting group. And uh, just two examples there of how you can post um, um, or choose which general ledger accounts are hit, sorry, when you post transactions in BC. Um, and there are other posting groups and posting setups, but that was just an example of two, just to show you how it works. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.